welcome to 21st video of calculus using MATLAB. My name is Milan Shah and today I am going to teach you how to find the maxima and minima of any function. Now maxima and minima is same as to find the highest value and lowest value of any function. Now in theoretical method what we do is we first take the limits and find the values between these limits then we take differentiation of that function after differentiation we solve that function solve means take the differentiation equals to zero so we will get the answers after that we put that values into the original ones or original equation and after that we get the maxima and minima of that function so if you don't know this theoretical method then I will guide you to these things now first define symbolic variable x now suppose our function is y is equal to 2x cube plus 3x square minus 12x plus 17 now run it ok so here we have our function now for graphical method to find the maxima and minima there is a function called ez plot y this function will give us the maxima and minima of this function y so here they have limits minus 6 to 6 in x and minus 300 to 500 now suppose we are taking limit of minus 2 2 2 so see here the minimum value is 10 and the maximum value is around 36 37 37 I think ok so remember this value 10 and 37 So now take the differentiation first. Differentiation of y. What it will print, we will see. Six x square plus six x minus twelve. This is the differentiation. Now solve this. Solve means use function solve. G. So it will do is 6x square plus 6x minus 12 is equal to 0 this function will do this thing and it will give us the answer see here we have two values minus 2 and 1 so these are the values after solving this now to put these values into y in place of x there is a function called subs 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 y comma minus 2 comma subs y comma 1 so let's see what it will do see here the answer 37 and 10 see here the answer 10 37 that means the program is over this is the maxima and minima means highest value and lowest value of this function so it is very simple find differentiation solve that differentiation equation and put this 
values using subs in the original function so you will get the answer maxima and minima you can do with some more functions so do these things so you will get understand or you will get some knowledge you will understand what these things are actually doing so that's it for now i hope you understand do like share subscribe comment below and thanks for watching